Max, I'll start with you. How would you grade his debut? I'm going to see plus. He looks like a quarterback on the professional level, like an NFL quarterback. He's athletic. You know, the first thing you notice is he's, at, he's fast. He's not just, well, this guy is mobile, like Roethlisberger or Winston or someone like that. He's fast. Like, he can, he can outrun linebackers type fast. Um, and, and that's, in, in today's game, you got to have the arm. you got to make the requisite throws, all, obviously. But think of all the quarterbacks who come out. Bare minimum, they're mobile. But most of them can really run. And, and that's Trubisky. He has an arm, he has legs, he has an idea of what he's doing out there. I give him a C plus. I don't see the kind of um, electric enthusiasm inspired in others the way Deshaun Watson can do that. I don't see, um, uh, uh, and, and part of that is because they're really not ready to win. When you look at the receivers he has, a tight end, he does not have the kind of weapons to make him look as good as some of the other young quarterbacks in the league. And so maybe the grade would have been higher, but I think C plus is on the money. He's athletic, he has the tools, we'll see how he develops. It looks like they have a future there. And now though, I wouldn't have started him yet because they could have lost with Mike Glennon too. Now they can say, this guy who looks like he can be good, we, we invested a lot in him, has a game in the NFL under his belt where he didn't embarrass himself, C+. Well, listen, I can go along with that grade, but I'm going to get a bit more specific. Uh, number one, I would have started him. I told you that as far as I'm concerned. You've got a roster. You're an NFL team. You want to give yourself the best chance to win, and I think he gives them a better chance to win than Mike Glennon. That's number one. Number two, I watched his athleticism. Like Max said, you're right. He's fast. Uh, he's not just somebody that could scramble out of the pocket. He has actual speed. And more importantly, there are accurate throws that he makes on the run. Now, obviously not all of them. He was inconsistent, didn't pick up a blitz, got sacked on one instance, no doubt about that, but at the same time, the offensive line wasn't as stout as you would like it to be in protecting him. He could have picked up on blitzes a bit earlier. Uh, there's no question about that, but think about the coach he's going to get up against in Zimmer, who was a stout defensive uh, coordinator before he became the head coach in Minnesota, and Minnesota's defense is no joke. Why? Because Zimmer is there. So we got to take that into consideration as well. Then we have to look at the fact that, excuse me, who are these receivers? I mean, Alshon Jeffrey is gone. You know, we, we get all of that. But who the hell are these guys? I mean, who who's right? Cunningham and, and McBride and Millen. I mean, you know, he didn't have anybody to throw the ball to. And so when I look at it from that perspective, I mean, you, you, got, you, you, you got this kid Howard that's running a football for you, 19 carries, 76 yards, we get all of that. But the reality is, is that Trubisky hasn't had much to, to work with. So I'd give him a C-plus, and I'm very, very comfortable with that. What I will say is this. I'm trying not to judge him too harshly, but why move up to get the number two overall pick right. to get him? when there was a Deshaun Watson there. I don't see the reason for that as of yet. It's just one game. I can't hold it against them. We got to give it a little time. But on first glance, it's, it's, it's one thing if he just fell in your lap. But to go through what you went through just to grab him with the number two overall pick, I haven't seen anything that, tell, that tells me he's worth that. Well, there's an answer That's to that, issue. I think. I think the idea with Deshaun Watson is he wasn't consistently accurate enough to uh, justify reaching when people feel he wouldn't be drafted that high up to get him. Now, the people who would argue, no, 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 just take Deshaun Watson, forget about trading up for Trubisky, like me, for example, and like you, are pointing to the fact that Deshaun Watson figures out a way to get it done. He has the arm strength. He can be accurate. He's working on the consistency, as many young players do. And, and if you and talk about like he just gives you a feeling of a winner. No, no, no. He wins. You know, I took them to win the national title, Clemson, because they had the best player on the field, either team, and that's Deshaun Watson. So you and I agree about that, Stephen A. With Deshaun Watson available, you didn't have to reach to get Trubisky. And that's why I thought it was important that they don't start Trubisky too early, because this is a franchise in my lifetime, and Stephen A. and yours, they've never had a franchise quarterback, unless you consider McMahon a franchise quarterback, and he didn't really last long enough. What, what, who, who was the franchise quarterback in Chicago? It's 40 plus years, one Super Bowl, they're still living off of 1985. I mean, and they are football obsessed, and it's the third largest market in the country, and it's the largest market by far in the middle of the country. 
at, which is football crazy. They really, really need to get this right. And as you mentioned, when Deshaun Watson's sitting there and you use resources to trade up one spot to grab this guy, boy, you cannot miss. So that's why I didn't want to start him if I'm Chicago, because when he starts, he has to be ready. There's no starting him for a couple of weeks, especially without the weapons. They don't have weapons at receiver, as you just acknowledged, and, and then sitting him down two or three or four weeks later. If that happens, this is a disaster. Mm -hmm. So the upside is he has a game of NFL experience under his belt. He's not bad. The downside is, boy, you got to ride with him now. You, can't, you cannot change course now if you're Chicago. Yeah, and one thing to keep in mind, guys, his debut is on a national stage Monday Night Football, and this guy played at North Carolina, so it's not like he played for a big-time program. So I thought he handled himself well, but definitely can't defend why you wouldn't go with Watson first there.